our live team coverage moves now to Sunrise and CBS 4's Tiani Jones. And Tiani, we understand the entire Sawgrass Mills Mall has been shut down for the day? That's right. It is closed from the day. You can't drive in there because the flooding is so deep. But take a look at this flooding behind me. We're at the Sawgrass Home Depot where their entire parking lot is completely underwater. They actually had to put caution tape up around there because people were driving in and their cars were stalling out. But this is what we're seeing throughout sunrise. It didn't take long for early morning commuters to figure out it was going to be a long, wet commute. It's awful. I hate it, really. It's a slower ride, obviously, you know, people with the hazards on and such, and then, um, you know, just the drive time being safe, slowing down, so it, it does cause a little trouble. As canals and lakes made it to street level, just walking out the door was a shock to some. It's a pool. It's a pool out here. From sunrise to Lauder Hill, even the ducks confused as to where the lakes began and ended. Parents quickly realizing a walk to the bus stop wasn't going to happen. That morning dog walk also interrupted. He's not much of a water fan, so he's tiptoeing through. But as the rain continues, the fear of the rising flood waters is setting in. Because especially if you have a, a short car, a car that's close to the ground, that's where it gets really tough because your car might get flooded and there'd be some real damage. That's exactly what happened to this car near Sawgrass. CBS 4 photojournalist Brian Shanahan had to put his camera aside and help a mom and kid stranded in high waters after accidentally turning onto a curb hidden by the high water. With more rain in the forecast, we could see more scenes like this one. Yesterday it was clear, and today wake up and it's completely over. So don't know how much it can sustain going over the next few days. And again, we're at the Home Depot in Sawgrass, and you can see they've had to caution tape off their entire parking lot because it is completely underwater. And we've seen people driving into this water. You have to be really cautious because we've also seen a lot of people who have stalled out trying to drive through areas like this. We're live in Sunrise. Tiani Jones, CBS 4 News. Good job by our photographer, Brian Shannon, and helping that lady. Tiani, thank you. And don't forget, if you see news or weather happening, take a picture, send it to us. Our email is cbs 4 pics at cbs CBS.com. You could see your images on TV. And don't miss CBS 4 Chief Meteorologist Craig Setzer's weather reports beginning at 5 right here on CBS 4.